below. This is a read for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be about what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Thank you so much for so showing up, Sagittarius. I totally appreciate you being here. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. My reading starts as low as $33 for a recorded read, 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to call in your higher self, spirit, for a clear guided message for Sagittarius and their person. Let's see what's going on. All right, we have juggling. We have, or two of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles and the king of swords. You might be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This person's doing a lot of working. They might be juggling you. They might have a couple options, actually. Um, or they're really slow to move things forward. Um, they might have a hard time being in their heart space. They might be very analytical. They could even be pretty cold, actually, for some of you. But they're using their intellect, they, and they might just be working a lot. Let's see what's going on in the past for you and this person. Okay, for some of you, this person, and you were married, or you were happy together in the past, there was a lot of love there. And there was a lot of stability. There's a lot of love, a lot of stability, and a lot of emotional fulfillment in the past with this person. But that's how they felt about you. And now they're juggling. Now, they, now they, they're feeling kind of cold and withdrawn. It could be just that they have a lot going on in their life right now. And for some of you, you could be married to this person and you guys are just going through a period where this person's just focusing on their work. Okay. King of Wands in the future. Okay, so things start to... Knight of Cups and Wish Fulfillment. So then this energy changes again back into like love and desire for you and you being their wish fulfillment and them giving you a romantic gesture. For, so, for some of you, Sagittarius, like they might just be going through a period of like analyzing things, checking things out, taking things slow kind of being on the fence of whether to go forward with you. If you're married to this person, they're just working on their work. They're just not in a place of like love right now. But in the near future, um, the desire comes back. This is for either way. In the near future, the desire comes back. There's a love offer coming in and you are their wish fulfillment. Because it's like really great in the past. It's really great in the future and it's kind of stagnant. It's not like over... There's no ch major change other than they might be taking it slow, juggling a lot of responsibilities right now, and it might just seem like they're kind of cold right now. Either that or like maybe they are an actual air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but I also see um, all the signs here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, and Virgo, Capricorn. I all the signs are here, all of them. So honestly, it looks like, you know, there's a little bit of a pause and there's kind of a comeback of love towards you. Yeah, I don't know. Let's clarify and get some more information. Now, if you don't want this person, they're gonna make a gesture and offer. I don't really see. Let's see how you feel about this person. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? Yeah, you're holding on to them. You don't really want to let them go. They, for some of you, you feel like they're, they're your divine masculine. They could be an Aries. Yeah, you see this person as your lover, your true love, your soulmate. So I wouldn't worry, Sag. I would say right now, there's a little bit of like thinking things through letting things brew. They might be juggling some things that might be their thoughts on you and whether to move forward or not. What, what happened that makes this person's energy change? Maybe there was a proposal like of, of marriage. 
They want to do the right thing. There's a lot of devotion here. One of hmm, maybe confused whether to move forward in like a committed relationship, or maybe that energy is coming in in the relationship. So either like you felt like you you weren't ready to like move forward and be devoted, or and then they kind of held back, or they felt like they weren't ready yet, and so they're thinking about it right now, Sag. They're thinking about it, but it looks like they're gonna come back around. They really want you. They really desire you. So let's see. Um, let's clarify the 10 of cups from the past. Okay. This might have moved really quickly in the past. Um, I don't know though, that, you know, if someone was really seizing the opportunity, things moved really quickly, but there was a lot of good energy, a lot of happiness, a lot of gratitude, a lot of stability actually. 10 of coins in reverse, financial collapse. So for some of you, there might be money issues in this relationship that kind of caused this person maybe for some of you too, maybe the devotion toward the, being devoted towards each other wasn't really the issue. That's always, uh, for some of you, you're married, okay? Or in a committed relationship. And there's just money problems within the relationship. And so this person wants to work on supporting the household, supporting the relationship. And so they're just sort of in that mindset. They want to come in for, if this is your story, they want to come in and make things right or make things better, um, establish more abundance, you know? They're in the, I feel like they're pretty ambitious about it. Yeah, so they're juggling things because there's a lot of conflict. Maybe you guys were fighting. Maybe this stress caused fights between the two of you. I'm going to move these cards over here. You know that five of wands can also mean that there's like a lot of options going on. Maybe there's a lot of opportunities for them. They're trying to figure out what career path to move towards. You know, if they want to be devoted to you, like they have to like kind of sort out their other options before they like decide to really choose you. Seven of Swords. For some of you, there might be some, there is conflict right now going on for sure. Conflicted whether to move forward with you, um, who to choose. Maybe there's some kind of like lies or things that you don't know of in in about what's going on with them right now. You'll know if you're in a like long-term relationship, a commitment with them, I don't see that this is going on. But if this person needs to choose whether to move forward with you and totally commit to you, they have to decide like to let go of the other options, okay? There's a few stories. There's a person who's like really contemplating commitment with you or they're seeing you contemplating commitment with them okay and they might have or, or or you do maybe they think that you do they might have other options and they have to let them go um there's not like fighting going on here so maybe you guys are getting into little fights um for those of you this person just wants to this person just wants to make things right financially. For some of you, I feel like they're not communicating that with you. But this person wants to put in the work. They're, they're really intellectualizing, like I gotta make more money or I gotta put in the work or if I'm gonna commit, I have to really um, dedicate myself so that this relationship can grow. Okay, so I do feel like in the future, it's going to be good luck, more fate, more fortune, more money, and a new beginning between the two of you. If it felt like things were getting stagnant, they're going to come back in, offer you love, and say, hey, can we, can we take a leap of faith together? I'm ready to like, take a leap of faith together and like be devoted to you, commit to you. Um...
one more card because the seven of cups is clarifying the, like two of swords okay so it's a little bit of like they really need to see like decide what they want to move forward with you like they're very confused about this issue of devotion doing the right thing whether to marry you or not whether to ask to uh, to marry you or not For some of you just, God, for so many people, I feel like you guys are already in a committed relationship with this person and they're just right now just trying to make things better. There's a lot of conflict going on for this relationship. For others of you, if they were confused or standoffish, they're coming back in. They still have a little bit of this energy though, of like, you're my wish, Sag, yet I haven't finalized my decision. Like, I love you. I want you. I want things to grow with us, but I haven't finalized this wish fulfillment. Like, it's not the things that I need to let go of. I haven't completely let go of them or I haven't completely, like, made myself ready to move forward in this commitment for some of you in in uh, what it would take to create more abundance in your marriage or relationship. For some of you, this person might not like believe in marriage. Um, so they're really struggling. You really just want whatever's going on to recover and just kind of move back into this expansive energy, back into this kind of love energy that you guys were feeling in the past or, or in in the past. It was very stable. It was very emotionally satisfied. Yeah, you just want, you want to heal, you want to move forward. You don't want to have this like grief and sadness when it comes to this person. Um, it does feel really stagnant right now. Um, the roles could be reversed. They could feel this way about you as well. Let's see, let's see what they want to say to you, Sag. Crossroads again. This person has like this big, they're torn between more than one path. But, you're, but they love you. You're always on my mind. They might be, be making this decision for you, but they're, they're not quite ready. You know, they're confused. They're conflicted. They might have to let go of some addictions, actually, or negative behaviors to be able to move forward with you. I love you both. See this person? <laughs> I feel like this person has to let go of someone in order to move forward with you or other options. And they're having a hard time making a decision. For others of you, it could be you where there's um, a decision. This person loves you. They think about you all the time. It's just they have to let go of someone or something in order to really commit to you. It's really becoming very clear. Any other energies coming in for Sag? Empress. King of Pentacles. That stability is coming back. All right. So for some of you, you might um, close out a cycle with this person, um, like where things come together and you move forward. The, having these two cards to me it's like you're gonna be because I'm asking you about your ending and you're gonna feel really happy really content really secure and you're gonna move forward with this person or close out this cycle and manifest this kind of energy that you had down here for a lot of you you're just gonna get that energy back in the future with this person pretty powerful energy that you're moving into Saj I need I'm gonna ask for advice
Let the beauty we love be what we do. Nine of Cups, very, very good energy that you're moving into, okay? The Empress, again, receptive. Everything in the universe is within you. Ask all from yourself. So this energy, um, basically be receptive to the energy and to the wishes that the divine has for you because those wishes are the wishes of your soul. And open up to whatever the universe wants to bring into you. The universe is bringing you love and desire. Love, love and what you desire. Or somebody who really desires you. Or a rekindling of that desire. There's the juggling. Could be that person coming back with still that little bit of, or not coming back, but like, Kind of committing or saying they love you or they want to move forward with you yet with a little bit of that energy of like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe this is going on with you a little bit. And the advice is just be receptive to what the universe brings you. Just relax. Let those things that, those pentacles just fall, the juggling pentacles, just drop them and see what the universe brings you. Drop the problem. Drop the confusion. Maybe that's what this person needs to do as well. Maybe it's a mirroring, but it's kind of the end of the worrying, the confusion, the anxiety, that kind of stuff. Dance until you shatter yourself. Like go, just have fun. Let the beauty we love it we do. Yeah, it's, it's good energy, Sag, moving forward. Some of you guys just need to like make more money <laughs> or they do, you know, do what you love, not worry about money so much. I don't know. Let's do some spiritual cards for y'all. I'm going to do star seed cards. I have so many decks on this table right now. All right. Star seed cards for you guys. We, the Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth as a Portal. That's a new beginning to me, this card. Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, See the Light by Staying Grounded. Oh, there's another card down here. Soul Memories and Gifts. You've done this before. Hmm. Um, I guess the advice is really just to stay grounded through all this, that the universe is really, truly, and this card's going to bring you what you're asking for in a very, very powerful way. And we've done the conflict before. We've done the, the, the confusion, can't, the, the trying to, to decide or heal things with the mind. And the two pentacles keep showing up, but maybe it's like for you or for this person or for just this energy around, just to drop it and let your blessings come in, your true blessings. Let's do um, Moonology. Work through your fears. So maybe they're mirroring out the fears that you have within yourself and the answers are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Scorpio, Gemini, energy, Taurus, energy. Libra, Virgo, energy. Don't let pride get in your way. Prosperity lies ahead. So there's more money coming in to your life ahead or more abundance. There is fears coming up. It might be for you, it might be for this person. It might be you mirroring it out. Like if you have the fear within, you can manifest a person or the person that you're with. Um, it might be your projection of your own fears. It plays out outside of you until you kind of transmute that energy within you. Until you don't need to transmute it anymore and you just are. You, you're, just, <laughs> you're just being. You're just in peace 
you're not, you're just in peace, yeah. And you're the empress where it all comes towards you. The empress shows up, the emperor shows up. This is a, it's the two of cups show up. So there's definitely like a, a pretty powerful relationship going on here. You know, and it's leading to some sort of, well, I don't know. Is it leading? Is it leading to devotion? It, it it wants to show itself. I feel like in the past you guys felt like this was, this was the hair. This was devotion. This is marriage. This is this is wish fulfillment. This is something that you want to settle down with. And then there's this energy from this person that's confused. Are you confused? I don't know. Because the hair fins being clarified with the Eight of Swords, which is confusion about commitment, devotion, about marriage, about what the right thing to do is. And then the advice basically is just to like shed those fears and because there's so many good things coming for you. So what do you, what do you want to be devoted to? If you want to clear, make things clear for yourself, don't be devoted to the world. Be devoted to spirit be devoted to god be devoted to your higher self to you to the isness seek ye first the kingdom all else shall follow and everything the the answers will come the fears will shed the pride you know will no longer get in the way of your blessings okay have i been doing this for okay so i'm gonna go now sag i hope this resonates um, if it doesn't check out your other placements, I really appreciate your energy. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel and, um, yeah, let me know if this resonates or if it doesn't, I always appreciate that. It's so interesting to me. And again, if you like a personal reading, my information's down below in the description box. Take care, Sage.